Hello everyone, welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where I'm going to once again test the re-entry of the shuttle. Last time we got it up to orbit, but a glitch prevented me from actually doing the re-entry test. This time I hope to, first of all, launch it much more stably, but who knows, we'll see how that goes. And then try to bring it back down again. And we have Val and Jeb inside, so we better do a good job of that. Or we'll revert and try again. Anyway, uh, so here we are. Last time it turned out that rotating the shuttle seemed to solve the wing falling off problem. However, it might have been also the height because as I rotated it, the height of the shuttle changed. So just a little clarification on that. Maybe there, there's something about its positioning on the pad, but we're not entirely clear what it was. Uh, initially, it wasn't clipping into the pad even before it got rotated. So that wasn't causing the wings to fall off, but maybe one of these clamps was like not very well s placed on the pad and that caused the problem. So, well, we'll have to do more investigation on that. But anyway, for now, uh, let us start. And I'll just ignite and launch. And I'm going with uh, lighting the boosters at the same time as the clamps because it seems like they've sped up the booster ignition anyway compared to the initial version. Just trying to get that prograde vector up and then roll, up, roll. I'd still want joystick for this. It would be much smoother for me if I could use the joystick. <laughs> but okay, we, we're sort of rolled out. It's wobbly though. I have to get back into practice launching this thing. It's easier if you do it every day. Just trying to keep it near prograde, but prevent it from rolling too much. It doesn't matter, the inclination will correct after the boosters go. Okay, well, a little bit more stable at this point, but the booster is about to get expended. We have a long trip ahead of us. Okay, separation. Alright, they're off cleanly. And we wait about until 30 kilometers before trying more stuff. Still accelerating. I reduced the payload in the bay. I've action grouped the cargo bay. And also the engine shut down. So that might help things. Okay. Well, let's try and lean over to this side a bit because if we're going to come back down, it'd be nice to be just at 90 degrees right now. So it wants to pitch like this. I might have to change the tilt of the engines, really. I mean, part of the problem is that SAS doesn't want to do its job, right? I mean, the engines can tilt so that we stay stable. But then when I let it go, it starts doing this. SAS could stop that because there's enough gimbal to do that, but it doesn't. <laughs> okay, we were going too high on the apoapsis. Well, we still expended the external tank this time. Not an optimal flight to orbit, but all right, prograde. Probably with the bigger wings on the inside, we are getting more drag than on the initial version where I had the small wings on the inside. The shuttle's dry mass is probably heavier too. Okay, separation and pushing away. And there goes the external tank. We could try to lighten up the mop propellant, the mop propellant we don't use in there. But uh, our balance is already sort of wicked. Okay, opening the bay. And yes, all of it opens at the same time. Only carrying 22.5 tons this time. I'm a little bit nervous about the whole time warp thing, considering what happened last time. So I'm definitely not going to time warp while the engines are on. That's what caused it last time, trying to fizz warp. Okay, we are in orbit. And not exactly the orbit I want to be in, but it's okay for now. We'll bring it down a little bit. We do have the surplus fuel. 
and I'll bring down the payload as well after we do the deal with burn. So, okay, hopefully time warping now will be okay. Okay, I think we'll take this orbit for starters, and we're going to come down and just like in the ISS construction series, we'll go for 135 degree angle from the KSC as our retro burn point. But it's tough to judge that sometimes. I'm gonna say that's about 135 there. Ignition. And I think it was 23 kilometers. We'll see. That was usually from an inclined orbit though. That might be different from this orbit. Okay, that is our deorbit circumstance. And let us roll a bit to get rid of the payload. Undock. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, back to the shuttle. Narcius. Okay, out goes the payload. Hopefully that will not cause us problems. Right, it is also going to come down. We're a little bit heavier than what I tested flight with, but it should be okay, hopefully, maybe. And closing. The seam between the cargo bays is a little bit unsightly. Yeah, that joint is really uh, prominent right now, I have to say, right there. Just in this light, I'm sort of rethinking the, the look of it. Oh, uh, this wing is sort of shorter. When did that happen? Hmm. Okay, uh, I, I need to fix that. I didn't even notice that before. I hope I didn't accidentally do something. Or undo something. That will lead us to not have the right aerodynamics. Speaking of which though, we should make sure that our mod propellant is in the front tank. That one. Or as much is in there as possible. And we also can have the remainder in this tank instead of that tank. No obvious problems, except we're a little bit south, but that's a simple turn for the shuttle to make. I'll pitch down a bit. That's coming in a little bit faster than I want. Okay, here's how we look at the moment. Oh yeah, it's coming in way fast, so I'm gonna pitch down pretty severely. And why don't we take the opportunity to dump some of the OMS fuel. Okay, I'll cut the engine for now. Orbit does seem to be coming in fast, but then again, so are we, so let's try that. I'll rebalance the fuel again, putting it in here. Move the center mass as far forward as possible. Will we need to make a U-turn, or can we come straight in here? I think we probably... Oh, uh, it's tough to tell. I think we're too high to just come straight in. But it's gotta be a heck of a U-turn. I don't know if I can turn around. Oh, uh. When we've lost a lot of speed, we're not losing enough height. <laughs> oh boy. No! Oh! Pitched too far down. Uh... Well, let me try and rebalance the fuel again, but... Well, it should recover itself in theory. We flew the darn thing. Unless that wing issue... Okay, this really irritates me. Why does it unselect them? It, it's just not... Okay. Well, 
I mean, we just stalled out. We went too slow at too high a height. But then I also pitched down too far away from prograde, I think. This is like a island runway landing situation. I don't know if we'll get there. Ooh, 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 I pitched up too high. I pitched up too high. Oh, we're stalling again. Again, joystick would be nice. Okay, don't pitch up too much. I don't think we'll make it. This thing is really heavy. When it comes to gliding. Run range for the island runway could be increased too, by the way. <laughs> uh, that would help. Yeah. I would really like an increase to the run range of the island runway. Gosh. Is it even clipped into the ground or something? It's just horrible. Look at that. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, well, hopefully we can get the gear down without this ripping part. Okay. Whoa, whoa, don't go too far. Oh, you went too far. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll just have to take it. I'll just have to take it. Uh, oh, bounce. Brakes. Are we on the ground? No. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I did bad things. Oh, that was my fault. We were so close. Hmm. Yeah, but it's tricky to handle on re entry. Well, that was the first full re-entry test in this version of the shuttle. <laughs> well, it survived re-entry, it didn't survive my landing. Uh, but then again, island runway, bad. But yeah, we were running out of it too. So we will have to see about getting back to the KSC a little bit better than that. But it's a little bit wobbly. And, I mean, it's a little bit wobbly on landing. It's also wobbly on liftoff, obviously. I think I'll have to tilt the engines a little bit. And I'll see, I'll fix the wing. That was a surprise. I don't know if that caused any problems, but it's very touchy. Uh, somewhere between, uh, anywhere between, say, 600 meters per second and 1500 meters per second, it's really touchy. And that's when I really want to turn in order to get to the KSC runway. And since it's touchy, that causes problems. So, more practice necessary, uh, Jeb and Valentina will have to be resurrected, and that's how it is. Unless they're, they're like, right there. Nope, those are the RCS trusses. Alright, so with that, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.